Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing absolutely wonderful. We're playing Legacy today. I'm so excited to be back to it. It's been, um, gosh, I swear, like, I feel like I uploaded this, like, two weeks ago, and then I went and looked and it was a month. I literally cannot believe how fast time flies. Um, it's kind of scary and it stresses me out because <laughs> I don't feel like I have time to do anything. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys feel that way too. And then I kind of feel like when you get older as well, time starts to go by faster, which is so unfair because then you start to panic because you feel like you don't have enough time left in your life. Is it just me? I don't know. Anyway, here we are back in the legacy lot. Um, so in the last episode, we moved in Tony, Teddy, sorry, Teddy and Sarah into the house. I made Sarah this little room right here temporarily. She is a toddler right now and she's going to be aging up into a child in about a week. So that's pretty exciting. We got Halloween today. Uh, we got Harvest Fest in two days after that. I was kind of thinking about maybe extending my seasons to be like longer um, because I feel like we celebrate the holidays way too often that they don't feel as special and like I have no motivation to celebrate Christmas anymore <laughs> just because I feel like it comes so often. Yeah, so Evangeline's still with us, Ren is still with us, we've got Rocky, uh, we stole Rocky from from uh, Teddy's household. Gosh, Teddy and Tony, I'm gonna mix them up so much. Just warning you, just giving you a heads up. I did ask you guys what you think that we should do about Edison's job and a lot of you guys kind of want him to like get laid off. Um, I don't think he would mind, but like when he gets laid off, he can maybe pursue something that he actually likes. A lot of you guys said critic career for Teddy, which I love, I think that makes a lot of sense since she's, um, she is like proper, but she also like loves art and music. We also need a bathtub. I'm thinking maybe we should add another bathroom upstairs. God, the placement of these windows is so weird that like, it makes it hard to build anything right here. I do love the way they look outside though. That's the only reason why, but if I just move them over like that. Uh, it should be fine. It should be okay. I'm not stressing too hard on it. Yeah, a lot of you guys are like dying for some spice in this Let's Play. It has been pretty tame like for a while now. <laughs> like Zoe and Lamar's relationship was so perfect. Like nothing really crazy happened. But I have a feeling with Teddy and Edison that it's not going to be perfect by any means um ooh, i quite like that bathtub that that matches but i think we need tile yeah let's just use the same tile that's down here probably the same countertop just for some you know unity throughout the house we need a toilet in here obviously we could probably like no, I was gonna say we could probably fit a shower, but I don't think so. Um, also, um, <laughs> you can totally see everything everything everyone is doing um, in these bathrooms. They're so like towards the front of the house with these big windows, but you know what? It's The Sims. We can just pretend they pull the blinds down when they do go potty. I'm really just getting, I'm building this entire bathroom for the sole purpose of giving the dog a bath and giving Sarah a bath as well. Gotta put a toilet roll, of course. Um, and then we also need doggy stuff. So we need like a food bowl, we need a bed, all that good stuff and all that jazz. Okay, food bowl, I like this one best. And then large bed. We'll put it in the living room. Yeah, this bed is huge, holy cannoli. Is there an unoccupied corner? There is. We can put it right here. 
Okay. Yeah. Also, <laughs> I <laughs> I was messing. Yeah, holy crap. I totally forgot how many there were, but I found all of these photos in my household inventory and I wanted to see them all. So I just put them all on display by the vault. There are things that go back to Gen 1, which is really crazy. We took a lot of pictures for um, Charlie and Stella's Gen. There's a ton of those, but yeah. Olive, Felix, Luna, Zoe, um, and then we have more on this side as well. Oliver, bunch of Ren, there's a Carlos one, there's a Savannah one. Um, yeah, it was really funny like <laughs> placing all of these and kind of taking a stroll down memory lane, you know? Very good times, very good time. I'm probably not gonna keep it like this because this looks crazy, but um, yeah, I did reorganize this a little bit as well. There were some comments saying that you would really like a separate room for every collection. Um, and I kind of like, I like that idea. We can wall this off in certain sections. Fish, we got frogs, we got aliens here, we got eggs. These are, these are birth certificates, I think. Yes, we got the mood paintings that we need. We need the angry one left, I believe. Um, the elements, we have all of our, like, I think these are like Selva Dorada, like archeology span things. Fossils, space rocks, mycem trophies. Um, yep, all of that stuff, all of it. I just organized it a little bit better. Yeah, I also like redid the floors and the walls in here too. I made Zoe's little podium, um, her science thingy, her bouquet, her degree, her little science station. This is uh, Isaac's urn. This was her uh, glimmer stone, and then I sized down her uh, cauldron as well to put. <clears throat> Every single heir has a pet urn next to them, which I think is adorable. Anyway, I think that's all I needed to do in build mode, hopefully. Okay, what do you have to do? Place in scuffle? Yeah, nah. Why don't you fill this bowl and then give the dog a bath? Desperately needs it. I've never had my sim get laid off before. Have you guys ever had that happen? Because that's my first time ever seeing it. And I don't know if it's like specific to this career or what, but uh, yeah, I found, I thought that was really weird. I wonder if it's gonna happen. Cute, very cute. All right, Sarah, Sarah is starving and sleepy. Oh, I think I'm actually gonna buy a high chair. I kind of avoided high chairs for the longest time because like they were so glitched, but I bought one recently um, and I was using it and honestly like it, it was working fine. There was no issues. And this is like an easy, I can like even lock her in this room Just to be honest, anyone. but <laughs> uh, let's give her, God, what do you even feed kids? I don't even know. Ham and cheese sandwich. Give her some protein. I am just big chillin' today. I did not feel like getting ready or doing anything. This is why I look like I just rolled out of bed because I pretty much did. <laughs> um, my family was here for a week, which was really fun. It was really nice to see them. They came here from Cali all the way to Colorado to visit me. <gasps> Oh my god! Teddy hasn't been acting like her normal self lately. Her emotions have been a little erratic to say the least. Embrace the change? I mean, I love to say yes to these because I love the game, like, making decisions for me, you know? And I like rolling with it and building the story off of it. So, and I think it's too much of a coincidence that she is getting this personality change right after moving in with us. A proper erratic sim? How interesting. I think we should say yes. See how this changes things. Uh, my dear, why? Oh, she's literally staring in the mirror like, I don't know who I am. I don't know what's happening, but I'm embracing it. I'm embracing the change. Look at that stank face. God, she's literally never happy. Well, she's quite literally happy right now, but I mean like, what is this from? 
Witness imp inappropriate behavior. There is a time and place for everything, but it is abhorrent to display such behavior in front of a proper sim. What happens? Good grief. She's such a handful. She really is. Well, anyway, Edison is reading Sarah to sleep. Ren is having her pla plasmy pack. Oh, God. Oh. Log. Maybe. Oh, Honrum. Okay, I really wish that, like, you could go trick-or-treating, like, take your child trick-or-treating. How come that's not a thing? Like, you can get trick-or-treaters, but you can't take them trick-or-treating. Don't mind the little rings below my face. That's for streams. I should really hide that for, for videos. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. This thing is such a godsend. I don't know what I would do without it. Seriously. I wish toddlers could take it. How freaking awesome would that be? Anywho, so he can go to work today if he wants to, but it's Halloween, so uh, the Sims have the day off. Oh no, what happened to Greg? Oh no, he passed away as a young adult? Man, he must have like fried in the sun or something. It's Halloween today. I'm wondering if we should have a Halloween party. Nothing crazy, I don't think, because we don't really have any friends. I think it would be cute to see Sarah in a costume. Also, I read a comment that said that Teddy would be a good... No, not Teddy. Edison would be a good uh, politician. And I thought that was really interesting. Because he maxed charisma, he wanted to be popular in high school. He's a genius. I thought that uh, might might be kind of cool for him. Let's get a pumpkin carving station and uh, we can all carve pumpkins at the same time. I guess we'll have, I guess we can have like a family friendly Halloween. Let's put one of these out for like trick or treaters because I think we'll probably get some. And then, yeah, we can carve pumpkins. I'll make cookies and then we can like watch a scary movie or something. I also would like to go into cast at some point and probably dye Edison's hair back because it's probably grown out already. And then for Teddy, I do want to give her like a more proper style and grow her hair out a little bit as well. I'll just wait until Sarah's energy is a little bit up and it gets for further in the knot. Um, okay. Edison, you're not doing jack, so let's cook some sp spooky cookies. Oh my god, cannabis edibles? <laughs> Minty mocha cupcakes sound good too, but yeah, spooky cookies. Let's just do that. What are you making? <laughs> Coconut rice. <laughs> oh my god, he just sneezed in the cook. That's foul, bro. Oops. What was that noise? Why are you dancing? Oh, she's erratic. Ugh, right. She's kind of losing it, guys. She's losing it. Aww. Cute. Yay. Beautiful spooky cookies. I love them. And then can't we make like cheese eyeballs or something like that? Okay, Evangeline desperately needs a potion. Just grab that for from you. I've never seen a potion of plentiful needs do that before. She said it tasted bad, and now look at her needs. What? I thought those were foolproof. Oh my god. All right, well, here, take another one, I guess, because that was weird. That's better, that's better. All right, we got the cheese eyeballs. We got the spooky cookies. Uh, let's see what happens when we tell them to put a costume on. Bask in the light rays. What? What the hell is that? Is that from, like, the green lot thing? She didn't even go do it. Also, what are you wearing, my girl? Oh, yeah. All right, we got Princess Leia for Evangeline. She looks so beautiful. Uh, <laughs> Patchy, I keep forgetting Patchy's a thing. Let's get you in one. 
Let's do something proper for ya. But what? None of these are proper. Like none. Cheerleader? Sure. Uh, no Ren? Hi, what are you what are you doing up here? Smuggler for you, I guess? I wish there were more options. These are kinda lame. And then I guess Edison is going as his work uniform. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more options for, for boys. Luke Skywalker. Looks good, looks good. All right, Sarah. Your energy is great. I'm gonna get you to get up. Oh no, she hates wake up time. That is not good. So <laughs> so. Maybe uh, Auntie Ren can cheer you up? Okay. That made her really happy. Let's put her in a costume. Holiday helper, monster, or tree? <laughs> What does monster look like? <laughs> oh, okay. It's just a little onesie? That's lame. It just looks like she's going to bed. What does the tree fur look like? Is it... Oh! Okay, that one's a little bit better. Alright. Well, I don't know if... She can't carve pumpkins. That's so lame. Oh my god, we got trick-or-treaters. <laughs> nice. You got, you got tricked. You got tricked, my boy. Oh no, Sarah is aggressive. That's not good. Alright, pumpkin action. Very nice. Happy Halloween to you. Happy Halloween to you. Why don't you come over here and grab a cookie at least? I don't know. Cookie and eyeball? Sure. Let's have a look. Nice, nice. Cute little smiley one. Alright. We gotta light them now. Hopefully they don't catch on fire. I don't even know if that's possible. Preserve for $50? No way. All right, let's uh, let's watch a scary movie. I wonder if uh, watching a scary movie is gonna scare Sarah. I've never tried it. Moonlight Massacre Three. Let's get it. Scary. Ooh, ooh. Let's turn this one on and set it to purple. Ooh. Whoa. This is cool! The Aurora Borealis in our own living room? How special. It's Halloween, Halloween, everybody! It's Halloween, yay! It's Halloween! Watch. Let's see what happens if she watches the movie. She'll get nightmares. Oh my god! Tony and Freddy are having another baby. Teddy's gonna be another, a, another, I don't even know what I'm saying. Teddy's gonna have another sibling. Holy cannoli. It's exciting. All right. I also downloaded Woohoo Wellness again. A couple of the modules. The one where it says if the Sim wants to have more kids and it looks like Teddy is like neutral about it. Um, she's not against it and they're not hoping for it either. Okay. Okay. What about Edison? Would it be happy to have a child? Oh, The Sim would love having a child, whether it's the right time or not. If a pregnancy happens, the Sim will find joy in it. What about Ren? Does not want a child right now! <laughs> Evangeline would be happy to have a child. Oh, honey. Honey, honey, honey. Sarah yes, loves so sounds. Oh man, she really needs to go to bed. Okay, well, um, you are kind of in a shite mood as well, so why don't you put Sarah to bed and then go to sleep yourself. Good night, everybody. It is almost 1 a.m. I must put the child to bed. 
Nice. Host with the most. No clue what that's for, but Halloween was awesome. Oh, host bron 50 bronze or better social events. I didn't even host a social event. But it looks like everyone had a good a good Halloween. Oh my god, girly pup, you are two feet from your bed. No! Who's Reginald Trevino? I don't care. Please don't get a sad moodlet from that. I'm just gonna get her to super sell all this stuff. Man, this garden looks like absolute trash. It looks so bad. Is the weeding still glitched? Because I think that's the problem. Yeah, please tend the garden to the best of your ability. So um, I did this thing on my Twitch channel on Valentine's Day, I believe it was. Was it Valentine's Day? I think so. Uh, we did a little bachelorette challenge for Evangeline. I had the community make sims and upload them and we, we did the bachelorette challenge. And whoever won the bachelorette challenge, I was going to like have Evangeline actually date in my legacy challenge. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put that sim in and um, we're going to get Evangeline to, to date them and see how, see how it goes. That's um, ultimately who she picked though and who she got along with the best and she found the sim really attractive so I don't see why it would be any different in this save file. But we shall see. Alright, Edison has work in six hours. Interview a homeowner about utilities. Oh yeah, I forgot how freaking boring this job is. Also, Teddy, let's get you a job as well. I think uh, art critic. Art critic would be good. She can critique music. Also, we need to get Edison like a best friend. Um, Wilson is Luna's kid, I think. They're cousins and he's also a young adult. I think that might be good a good fit. Oh my god, I just realized him and Mari have bad compatibility. Good thing we didn't pursue that. <laughs> he has a really good relationship with this Melanie person. Um, yeah, I just kind of like want to make him a friend, a friend's group. Yeah, I really wanted him to have a hobby. What are his traits again? Genius, geek, creative, and perfectionist. What career would go good with that? Super smart, super geeky, so I assume like super into tech and like games and things like that. Creative, perfectionist. You know what job would be perfect for these traits would be like programming, like creating video games or creating tech. Don't you guys think? We've had so many like tech people in this family already, but like strong bloodline, but not a spellcaster. So lame. Let me look at your skills really quick. Charisma cooking and video gaming. Okay, maybe he can have a video gaming club. Gamers invite only okay so we're gonna add Luis was cool we're really close with her wilson melanie we knew more boys in the club i was gonna say rigoberto but that's the guy that was flirting with teddy right in front of us and she took it and i thought that was horrifying so okay i'll just add two boys two girls no requirements, club activities, we're gonna do bowling, let's do arcade machine, let's do play video games, and smoke cigars, what the hell? <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Um, play physical games, I guess? Sure, why not? Okay. We can add more people later, but this can be like his little hobby. Who's- what is this, Ren? You got work? Yes, you're gonna go to work. What, what? Oh yeah, she's a lawyer right now. She has to offer legal representation. How do we do that? Oh my gosh, she's still weeding, bro. It doesn't look like she's made a, a dent. Our garden looks like absolute trash. What is wrong? Oh my gosh, she's parched. Are you out of plasma packs already? No. He's got work in two hours. I can't wait to see if he's gonna get laid off. All right, Teddy. Let's see. Critic. Yeah, I think art critic would be good. I think being proper for that is good. And also like 
being a snob as well. She's not a snob, but yeah, I think that's pretty good. All right, I think she started at level one. Um, yeah, you're going to work today. Absolutely, and then, so you need to level up your write writing skill. Okay. Can do. Oh my god, look at Sir Isaac. He's sleeping in this cube of wall. It looks like he's trapped in there, but he's totally, oh, that's an interesting place to nap, but all right. All right, all right. Okay, Ren, work hard. You're already doing it. Yo, we're doing it. Hans, we're doing it. She's like going around judging the decor in the house. Like, ma'am. And then she just did a little dancey dance. Erratic sims are actually hilarious. Sarah is still snoozing away. We really need to potty train this little girl. Oh my god, look at this moodlet looming layoff. With the threat of imminent non-employment, Edison is toiling under a cloud of uncertainty. Oh, it just went away. Oh no, it's still there. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh god, Sarah's up, Sarah's up, Sarah's up. Sound the alarm, sound the alarm. Good morning, dumpling! You stink. Peppa Moy Zerksel? Would you like a bath? Philpin. I kind of need one too, to be honest. Wow, Ren. She got promoted again. That is absolutely wild. She is an adept attorney. She didn't even do her promotional task and she still got promoted. Good grief, Ren. Lloyd, level six already. Aww. Leslie came to visit. Leslie, Leslie, Leslie. What's going on out here? Open it. Who is this? Ah, yes. La who are you? Maybe. Benet. Oh. Maybe. Wow. Lanula. Nula Lanuola? Oh, Edison's back. He did not get laid off. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, we might have to have him quit. <laughs> Oh, oh man, Lilith just asked Ren to hang out, but I missed the call. I like your lawyer fit. It actually looks good on you, Ren. I'm not even gonna lie. That's a nice color on ya. All right, Edison, I need you to potty train Sarah for me since no one else wants to do it. Oh, there's Leslie. Wait, don't leave. Invite in, Ren. Invite her in. This is uh, Charlie and Stella's adopted daughter. Not really sure why she's still alive. I guess it's possible that she could be. Oh my god. Is she for real right now? I understand that you're hungry, but... Ah, we're gonna have to do some parenting here. Discipline, firmly. Tell not to have an emotional meltdown. Do not. Will you stop <laughs> dancing everywhere? My God, are you guys gonna do anything? Are you gonna speak to each other? Are you gonna kiss each other? Are you gonna... No? Let's ask if Teddy wants children. I wanna see what she'll say. I think she'll probably just say, like, I'm super neutral about it, but Edison wants them and she's, like, very whatever about it. Do you want more babies? Do you enjoy being a parent? We're not getting any younger. Not the what's up, dude. I'd be alright with having a child. I'd also be alright with not having a child. Nurtual hmm. Quosinex. Okay. Tribal dorm. What is happening here? <laughs> Just as I said that high chairs are not glitched anymore, this happens. I need to learn how to hold my tongue, apparently. Oh my god, I wonder if Sarah's gonna be a spellcaster. She has a glimmerstone in her inventory. Ooh. That could be fun. Evangeline, that is not your bed, bro. Aw, Zoe's here. Hi, Zoe. Do you want to meet my child? Meet Zoe. Grandma! Hi! I love that they can still meet the ghosts. It's adorable. 
be Tiny Parza. Not her being an iPad kid. Oh, when does Innocent have work next? Six hours. He's probably gonna get promoted too. Lame. All right, well, why don't you make everyone breakfast? <coughs> I wanted him to go hang out with this club, but there's not enough time for that. We should totally plan a toddler play date. We should plan it for Saturday, but I would need to like place a lot that has all the toddler stuff on it. And today is Harvest Fest. I'm kind of thinking we should go to uh, um, Teddy's parents' house in Evergreen Harbor for Harvest Fest. Oh, I think we actually might have the day off today since it is Harvest Fest. So we technically could have a club gathering today before we go to dinner. All right, I'm gonna go to Manage Worlds. I'm gonna place like a, a bowling alley slash arcade and then I'm gonna also place a toddler like play lot like a park for toddlers or something i rarely do the most for my toddlers or my infants i just find them like way too hard to take care of but since we only have one kid right now and she's not like that too hard to handle i think we can do some fun stuff with her all right so what do we got in willow creek maybe i should put this all in new crest um yeah, like all the lots in the save file are full. It's wild. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna search like toddler park or something. We're gonna do most popular. This is cute. Yeah, okay. Um, this is by Siri Sim 4. I think I'll replace this rustic barn wedding lot. Okay, and then the next thing we need is like a bowling alley arcade. Bowling arcade. Um, Funky Town Bowling Arcade. Okay, that's pretty. Ooh, look at this one. I love the rainbow stairs. Um, I'm looking for something a little bit more casual though. This one's kind of cool. This is also 30 by 20. We could throw it. Oh my god, there's already one right there. I'm gonna replace the library. All right, fantastic. Lots are placed, we are ready to rock. I love this loading screen so much. I don't even know where I found, I think it was on Pinterest. I just searched like retro loading screens. They're so easy, you guys, especially if you use custom content. It's just one package file. You download it and you throw it in your mods folder and it automatically changes the loading screen. So cute. I can't wait to see what Sarah's traits are. Like, I get so impatient with <laughs> aging up my kids. Uh, I just want to do it now, but I don't- I think it might be against like regular legacy challenge rules. But if I had it my way, I'd be aging them up like every three or two to three days. Is that just me? Yeah. Like, I just want to know who they're going to be as a person. And I find that, like, their childhood skills and their quirks and things like that, they they literally don't affect how your sim is as an adult. Like, at all. Okay, I'm going to change the club hangout to... Uh, Alright, bowling source. Let's, let's go ahead... Let's start a gathering. Let's do this thing. Gather at bowling source. I kind of missed the free earbuds, guys. Aw, uh, yeah. uh, yibs! All right, what's up, everybody? So we have Melanie Fournier, for, 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 foreigner, foreigner, foreigner. We got uh, Luis, we got Wilson. Um, I would like to add more to the group as we go, but yeah, let's just say hi to everybody. These girls, they're actually like potential love interests for Edison before I remembered that we were supposed to marry Teddy. <laughs> but it's just the two people that he has like the most, the best relationship with. I think that's what, I think it was Melanie, I don't remember. Let's check out this lot. Oh my God, this is actually really, really cute. I love the colors and everything. Her outfit's really cute for bowling. I ain't even gonna lie. Mob 
playing that form. Oh my god, there's my Stardew Valley uh, Sim, Sebastian. Him's handsome. Oh, he knows Louise. Do you want to join our club? Hey, who's your friend, guys? Should he join our club? Do you guys approve? Wig towel. We're already good friends with him. This is so insane. Invite to gamers to see what he says. We gather here pretty often to bowl if you would like to join. Ah, soon and nibbed up. Oh, he's stoked. He is stoked. I'm gonna get uh, Edison to scope the surroundings. Just out of curiosity. Oh, honey! You poor thing. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. He doesn't find anyone attractive. I can't remember if we, uh... If we did the wonderful whims thing with him yet. Did we? Oh, interesting. Okay, he likes black hair. He likes brown hair and white hair. He has no dislikes. Hair length long. I wonder if he still thinks Teddy is attractive. Hair type. He doesn't like straight hair. He doesn't like curly hair. But then he has no likes. Doesn't wouldn't that like automatically imply that he likes wavy hair? Interesting. Very interesting. Details. He likes unnatural eyes. He likes freckles and tattoos. Average body weight. High muscle, average muscle. He likes big boobies. Big booties. Big boobies and big booties. He likes black clothes. He doesn't like yellow clothes. He likes a hipster style. Hats, glasses, jewelry, and makeup. Be interesting. Okay. Okay. Let's get some beers as well after we're done bowling. Okay. So he thinks that Teddy is attractive. Like, he does. So there is. Extremely attractive, very attractive, attractive, basic looking. Um, then not attractive, I think, after that. So she's like, I would say she's in the middle. Who's this? She's freaking adorable. I think she's from the werewolf pack. Oh my god, these two have black hearts. I think that means he thinks they're super unattractive. Uh, oh. Hello, Tetsu. How you doing? But he does think that Celine is cute. He does. I don't know what the black hearts mean. I'm really curious, though. So, I think we need to introduce ourselves. That sound is so not chill. Oh my god, she's married! Okay, he just... He just thinks- is she a werewolf? I don't even know, but he just thinks that she's attractive. That's fine. Sorry girl, didn't know you were married. Not that I'm looking! What's up, Alicia? How you doing? I just want to know what the black hearts mean. Unattractive. Right. I want to ask Wilson to be our best friend. I really don't know, like... What that does, per se. <laughs> ask me, roommate? No, I want to be besties with you. How do I ask you? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give him your number? Is this a test? Mari? <laughs> Become best friends. There it is. I was searching for ass to be best friends. No, no, no. Alright. Hell yeah, he's got a bestie now and it's his cousin. Oh! <gasps> Ooh! Edison is starting to make some great social connections. Edison's becoming a true insider in the social network. Embrace the change. I think yes! Insider it is! I wonder what he thinks about... Other Sims. Ask about another Sim. Teddy. I think they've met. What do you think? He's so handsome, guys! Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Teddy. What? You never met Teddy before? Huh. Well, we should change that. I'm inviting everyone to our house. Not the girls, just, just Wilson. Teddy! Come out here! There's a Grim Reaper gnome guarding our gate. Hello. Nice to meet you. Suli, Suli. Suli, Suli. They did not just ah, hit so their so hats so. to each other. They did. That's ah. <laughs> huh. Apalachaba, Zafish, They're talking Yabba, over each other and stressing me out, guys. Waga Fruge. Vorba Quest. Exonoi Zox. Wasusa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. She thinks Wilson's very attractive. She thinks Edison is very attractive as well, but they've got good compatibility. No compatibility yet with Edison, which I find very strange. Oh, she finds this person attractive too. Really? Really? Okay, I, I'm judging. Cute. He's adorable. Well, now let's ask are. him what he thinks. Ah. I like Teddy, she's pretty cool. Well, fair enough. Okay. Um, let's make a grand meal and then head over to the in-laws house. Mmm, that looks good. You did great, my boy. You're cooking. Hey Edison, I've heard so many good things about you. I'd love if we can grow as fast friends. Mmm. Interesting. All right. Well, let's go ahead and travel to Evergreen Harbor. I want to see the new kid as well. All right. Hello. We are here for Thanksgiving. Let us in. Let us in. We don't really have a big enough table for all of us. Also, where's your new baby at? Oh, the pregnancy started. Okay, she's currently pregnant right now. All right. Well, let's get this here. Mm, place in worlds. Look at all the dogs are back together again as well. So cute. Okay. Um. Hold a grand meal. Look! How cute! They're having a little reunion. And Maxie's so happy because it's her babies. I love it. Ren, do not. Do not get any of that. Yep, yeah, she's pregnant. What is she having? I want to know now. I must know. One male baby. That's awesome. They have two girls, so they're not, now they're going to have a boy. Hey! <laughs> It's Quingle Zibs, Quingle Bazulorn. Beautiful. Oh my god, who put their food on the ground for this dog to eat? Who's that? Latasha Bellamy? Huh. That's quite the cute uh, harvest fest. There is no paparazzi here on Thanksgiving. Talk about an invasion of privacy. Well, this is just ridiculous. I wish we could get the dogs to attack him. Wouldn't that be dope? <gasps> Edison and Sarah, a strict family dynamic. I'm thinking yes, because she's his firstborn. Um, yeah, I think... Usually firstborn kids always have it, have it the hardest when it comes to, like, curfews and things like that. Threaten paparazzi. Do it, Ren. Do it. If you don't get that out of here, I'm gonna drain you of every single drop of blood in your body. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I'm really thirsty right now, as you can see. I need to feed, so buzz off or else. It worked. Aww. Cute. 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 This is the second time my game has frozen on 11-11. What does that mean, guys? Whoa, <laughs> gotta do this every holiday. You just gotta. Oh no. 
Oh, all right, all right. Everyone's freezing to death, so time to go home. Uh, who died? That was strange. Only the dog's phone is ringing. All right, let me look at the calendar again. So we've got one, two, three, four days until uh, Sarah's birthday. That is very exciting. I'm gonna hop into cast really fast. I'm not gonna change their outfits yet, but I will change their hair for now. So yeah, with Edison, um, I'm just gonna like probably give him his, his brown curly hair back. I would assume since he got the girl and she's living with him, that he doesn't need to, uh, he doesn't need to win her over anymore. He can just be himself. This kind of looks like he chopped it all off. And it's just like starting to grow in again. Yeah, it's like nice and shaved on the sides. I don't, I don't mind how this looks. <laughs> he looks a little, like a little weenie to be age, but I kind of like it. This was the hair that he had before. <laughs> He's adorable. I do want to give him like all new outfits as well. And then for Teddy, let's grow her hair out a little bit too. Shoot, we can't even give them both the same haircut. <laughs> We can basically do anything with her hair though. She, we can even pretend she's wearing a wig too. Um, so she had braids when we first met her. Then she shaved, the, shaved them off. And now we can either go for like a wig or a weave hairstyle, or we can do um a pixie cut she could literally pull off any hair Ooh, i like this one. Oh, she looks so good with this hair Ooh, oh my god Ooh, i really like this one a lot Okay, yeah, let's do this one for the time being and we can grow it out some more later. Um, gosh, I don't know if I want to do the orange or the brown. Let's do dark brown. And then yeah, I'll be I'll be changing her outfits as well to uh, you know, a little bit more of a proper style. I haven't decided what I want to do yet, but I will, like, I'll think about it and then we can do it in the next episode. I think I'm gonna leave this part right here, guys. I think we did a good amount of stuff today. In the next one, we're gonna age up Sarah. I am so freaking stoked for that. And um, we're also gonna be exploring Edison and Teddy's relationship a bit more. Honestly, they don't, <laughs> they really don't, feel like they're in love to me. They really don't. They barely speak. They are barely romantic with each other. Um, but I don't know if I'm just giving up too easily or not. <laughs> I thought maybe move, moving them in together would um, like have them bond a little bit more. They would be around each other all the time. So like they'd be forced to communicate. But she didn't really communicate with us before we lived together. And now that we live together, she doesn't really com communicate with us either. Hi, Ren. Beautiful as always. And then Edison never got laid off from his job. So we might just quit, TBH. We might just quit and find a career that is more suited to his traits. Genius, insider, creative, and geek. I'm so curious to see if Sarah is a spellcaster as well. She has the Glimmerstone in her inventory, so I'm kind of thinking that she is. But Edison also has a Glimmerstone in his inventory too. I don't know if you just like automatically get it if your parents are spellcasters or not. That's super confusing. I think that if your sim's not gonna be a spellcaster, they just shouldn't have a Glimmerstone at all. Yeah, we also need to like keep working on the collections a little bit. Since Edison is kind of geeky, I can't believe how many how many collections there are. It's actually insane. Maybe Void Critters could be a good collection for him. So it's more of a kid's collection, but that kind of gives me geek vibes. Space Rocks and Aliens and Space Prince, all of those as well. 
We only need two more geodes. Oh my gosh. Can be found on the alien world. Okay, we're gonna have to go to 6M at some point too. Because we are on Gen 6. So we only have four more generations to get that stuff done. Also, in the next one, I kind of want to like go over the legacy challenge, um, like requirements and rules and things like that, just to give us a refresher on what we need to do for this challenge, really. I have been focusing a lot on like just relationships and things like that. And also, was it the last gen? No, the gen before that, I was like so freaking stressed about having the 10 kids in one generation that that's like all I focused on. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Um, I'm not gonna wait a month again to film this again. I'll probably upload it again within the next three to four days. So you have that to look forward to. I love you so much. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you very soon. Bye.